up guys, this is Dan Thompson here and welcome to a new sh series we're going to do, breaking down my designs called Tomo Test Sessions. Today we're going to look at the El Tomo Fish design, break down some of the uh, elements of the board, the fins, the rocker, the template, give you guys an insight of um, how I came up with the board and then go take it for a spin and see what you guys think. Cool, so the El Tomo Fish is basically almost a remake of the old um, Kane Garden fish design I built back in 2004-2005. It was just a high performance version of a retro fish at the time and um, basically just modernised the concepts with some modern rockers and rails and pulling in the templates to be a bit more high performance. This is the outline of the board. Um, it's based off one of my older like I said before, my older Kane Garden model. I really use that old board as a um, starting point for this one and use that nice performance here, I'd say, but still has that element of traditional fish templates with a lot of straightness in the rail. Let's check out the tail design. Now, a lot of you guys might be familiar with these jet fighter style tails that I've been doing for a number of years. As you can see, this is the latest version of that tail. It features a bump wing, in the, rail, in the rail outline to give you a little bit more um, tighter turn and a bit more hook in your turns. As you can see, the rocker of the El Tomo fish is very flat. Um, it's flat entry, flat tail rocker. Um, it's got a, a, just a nice little um, natural curve throughout that um, rocker, but overall it's designed to have a lot of um, planing speed in flat sections and small waves so you can get the most out of a weak condition kind of um, surf experience. Right, uh, let's take a look at the fin setup. In this model we've got the Tomo quad fins by Futures and I designed this fin in conjunction with this board. Now what these fins do, as you notice, they're kind of a twin tip hatchet fin design. They've got quite a narrow base. What it allows the board to do is still pivot really well, go rail to rail very, very easily. They're a very um, unique feel fin. More of an SS turning kind of uh, fin rather than a, a snappy pocket style of surfing. The El Tomo Fish is also well and truly designed to work with a regular quad fin setup like this. So these are more of a standard quad fin. Um, so the El Tomo Fish is gonna work just fine, if not optimally. It works great as a twin fin. Um, I've designed it with the fin placements to be quite a ways to the rear. Um, so a twin fin will work. Uh, a quad fin's my favorite for the, uh, the Ultima fish, but definitely give it a go as a twin fin. One small tip I would like to share with you guys is the grip placement. Um, as you notice, I've made a little cutout of the um, arch bar and the um, tail kick, just to get that placement as far back as possible to allow you your back foot to be either on or behind the bump wing of the board. I feel you get the most out of the board if you can get your foot right back there. Righto guys, that's the breakdown of the El Tomo fish. There's a good little wave out there we saw this morning, so we're gonna go take it for a spin and see how this thing goes.